All right, YouTube, we're here for round five of the challenge. Last round, I played against Elves. I lost the first game, punched at the second game, but still won it, and then just kind of ran over in the first game. So third game, so we're four and one. So hopefully we can keep it going here. Thank you, YouTube. Good luck, Inferno. So I have a threat. I have a hand that can enable both threats and a lightning bolt. So I'm going to keep this hand. Oh, we're playing a mirror. Yeah, we're playing a mirror. If my opponent thought seizes me, I'm going to cycle my Street Wraith because if they just take my Faith of Saluting, I have no filtering. Yeah, so we're gonna cycle this right now. Because we want we wanna give ourselves No, that's stupid. I can just do that next turn. That's stupid. Ugh. Ugh. That's just dumb. It was so dumb. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I have two I have two forms. Like it's one thing if I didn't have the faith of looting, they would just take the looting. That was stupid. That was poor. Don't do that at home. Okay. So I really don't want to just looting in the dark, but I guess that's where we're at. I kind of want to just discard. What's this lightning bolt going to do for me? It's not really going to do anything, and I kind of want the third land to be able to snap something back. So I think I'm just going to discard this and this. Yeah, thank you very much, Cold Shoulder. Appreciate the kind words. My opponent plays our own Death Shadow. This could be pretty bad. They're just taking all the threats. Wooded Foothills. Oh, so we're playing Jun Shadow? Okay. Yeah, they just stripped my threats. Whoa. All right. Find a fatal push, we're gonna win this game. If we don't, then we're not. Red Shock, 9, 13. This is bad. Ah, oh, things are 5, 5. They've got stopping ground left. 
So their shadow is going to be an 8. I can't even dismember it to have it trade. I don't really know what I'm going to do here. I might end up just dismembering this shadow to give myself another draw stat. Like trading this, basically just trading Gorklan Rampager for dismember. The problem is, even if I flash in my Snapcaster Mage and block, just going to pass. If I go to 8, this is 10, minus 5, we get another turn out of this. Should have got an island. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we get to dismember. We get to trade dismember for Gore Clan Rampager, basically. So, the last card, Stomping Ground. They know I have this Snapcaster Mage. I feel like I almost have to go get an island and fake the looting into a push. No, I can't snap loot because I need to be able to fetch a black source and I can't shock myself. So I need to go island, flashback, fake the looting. Yeah. No, I cannot snap loot. Because if I snap loot, I cannot crack a fetch land that does anything. I have to go get an island, flashback looting, and then push this. No, island snap loot doesn't do anything, Jigs. I just mill both my cards. If I put if I if I go snapcaster loot, then I have no cards in hand. They just get milled over the graveyard. Okay. <clears throat> they got it. Okay. Cards I want in the mirror. Bring these in, bring this in. Cut these, cut Bolt Faithless. I don't really know how many Stubborn Denials that I want to cut. Because they're heavier on Liliana's. I think I'm going to keep three. Just because they have more Liliana's. Like, they're, they probably have, like, two Veils in their main deck. Two or three Veils. They might have, like, a Last Hope or two in their sideboard. They would usually bring in Coligon's Command, but... The Kiki Man is just too slow, though. Because, like, 
Liliana Veil is only good in this matchup, pretty much. Like, it's it, this is better at picking off creatures. It's decent in this matchup. It's better across the format. I'm not making this match. Yeah, I mean, we were punished there. I think the fourth push is wrong to do because there's just too many. There's too many decks in the format where removal is dead, and at least this does something: kills your opponent, pumps your shadow, kills a planeswalker. Yeah, we're just gonna go like this. I, I like. I should like theoretically, I should cut one of these for this, but this card is much worse against Jund, and I want to be able to deal with Liliana's. Um, let's draw. Ugh. I'm gonna mulligan. Hand just doesn't do anything. Even though mulliganing is so bad in these matchups. At least we're on the draw to help it out. Alright. Opponent should have done this in my upkeep so they could have seen a card. Oh, no, they're doing it on themselves. Okay. Good job, opponent. We need to dismember this Tarmogoyf. Because even if my opponent goes cycle street rate, it's a 3 4, then goes to a 4 5. And then we get to, we get to go Gurmag Angler, and we just have to hope there's no Liliana. Okay. Yeah, now we just hope, like, we're going to Thought Scour, and we're likely going to just cast this Gurmag Angler and just pray that there is no Liliana. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't Liliana me. All right, if this was a Liliana, it would already be on the table. You gonna trophy me? We're three and one. Down again. Okay. They're just rebuying their goyf. That is okay with me. Okay. That's nuts. So we're just gonna get this off the board. Shocking grave. And then play Death Shadow, play Jace.
So we know our opponent has a Tarmogoyf Wife in hand. They kept in Tarfire? Really? You kept in Tarfire. Hmm. All right. So my opponent has Tarmogoyf and Death Shadow in their hand. I will get I don't think I can attack. Uh... Yes, sir. That draw would be nice. I think I just have to play a. I have to hold my. I, just, I can't do anything. Because I just can't do anything. I can't attack because if I attack my opponent, their shadow is going to be larger than my angler, and their Tarmor Wife is already larger than my angler. So. You're 5 0? Holy shnikes. And get the shadow in play. That is not good. I need a fatal push. Fatal push or terminate. He's a big boy. Oh. All right. Skirmish doesn't do anything. Uh, I can literally just shock myself, play Gurmag Angler, chump both my Gurmag Anglers away, and then hope to draw a Fatal Push. And then hope to draw another good card again. Like that's pretty much what we're doing here. <clears throat> They have to draw nothing. I draw Fatal Push. All right, that doesn't really matter. For what it's worth, I think this matchup's actually kind of close. Because, like, the Grixis Shadow decks just aren't built like they used to be. Like, they used to just.